in a string of prosecutions brought against high-profile Beijing critics and democracy campaigners. Hong Kong's pro-democracy media tycoon Jimmy Lai has been denied bail on fraud charge. The media tycoon remained in custody on Thursday after being charged with fraud. His detention comes as a prominent opposition politician announced that he had fled overseas during a trip to Denmark. The 73-year-old is the owner of Hong Kong's best-selling Apple Daily, which is a popular tabloid with that is pro-democracy and fiercely critical of the authorities. The case has been adjourned until April. Since Beijing circumvented the territory's legislature and after the national security legislation was imposed on Hong Kong, authorities have intensified a crackdown on key opposition figures. But Lai's fraud charge did not fall under the national security law. In the toughest and most high-profile sentencing of an opposition figure this, this year, one of Hong Kong's most prominent democracy activists, Joshua Wong, was jailed for more than 13 months. Wong has been sentenced for his role in an anti-government rally in 2019. And earlier we spoke to Richard Kimber from Hong Kong on the latest. Take a listen in. These figures this week who have been in court are very high profile, some of the most vocal uh, activists still speaking out in Hong Kong and there are not many vocal activists in Hong Kong anymore, so a major blow to the democracy movement. Outside of court this week, talking to supporters of those activists who have been standing outside wishing them well as they get taken away either into custody or to jail, uh, people say that they're still determined to keep up the momentum, they're still determined to campaign and they said to me, this will only add oil to the fire was the phrase they used, seeing that these activists have been jailed or uh, remanded in custody in this way. But the reality is that without some of these high-profile figures who are still willing, as I say, to speak out and to lobby for international support, it is hard to see how those who are not doing so can keep up the kind of momentum that Jimmy Lai and uh, Joshua Wong were. In fact, really, the arrest of both Joshua Wong and Jimmy Lai doesn't really necessarily make any difference to the ability of protesters to take to the streets because the national security law itself has effectively made that almost impossible since the police are now in a position where they can indeed arrest anybody and do not have to issue any kind of permit for any kind of mass protest rally. So irrespective of the arrests, all kinds of street protests in Hong Kong really are effectively a thing of the past for the time being and there's no obvious sign that will change. What is happening now is a very large-scale coordinated effort by those people who are still trying to protest to coordinate online campaigns and to lobby for international support and one small significant step is that although this opposition lawmaker Ted Hoy who you mentioned earlier has left Hong Kong his specific intention is to go to the UK and to lobby alongside other high-profile activists who are already there to try and increase the international pressure on both the Hong Kong and Beijing governments to change their stance